What's going on guys, in this video we are going to cover PD arrays and equilibrium. Now this is going to be another very short video. This is not going to take a long time to explain. It's very, very, very simple and honestly you can think of this in the simplest way possible which is buy low, sell high, right? Pretty basic stuff and you can find your equilibrium which is the 50% of any range and which also determines whether or not you're in premium pricing or discounted pricing. So anything from the upper 50% of a price range is considered premium pricing, and then anything below that 50% is considered discounted pricing. So the theory is that big money, the market makers, are only ever looking to buy when price is discounted, and they're only looking to sell when they can sell price at a premium, right? Very logical theory, I would say. So if we were to just look at price now, and this is something that you will use, you know, uh, on any time frame. But this is something that if you can get a bias on the higher time frames with this, it's really going to help you finding your entries on the smaller time frame. So you can find it either with the Fibonacci retracement tool or the Gone Box. I just like using the Gone Box. I think it's easiest. And here we can see, guys. Here you have a swing high. And then you have a swing low. The way that you do this is you draw up from a swing high to a swing low the Gone Box or your Fibonacci retracement. And if you do this, you can see below 50% would be where you'd want to look for buys. Above 50% would be where you'd want to look for sells. And you guys can see how price came down and then where did it pull back to before continuing lower, right? It pulls right back to the equilibrium, which is the 50% and then continues the move down. Now, what if we actually just extended this now to the next low? We see that price came up. Interestingly enough, where did it come to? It came right to a one hour fair value gap. You guys are now seeing how this is all coming together, right? And you can do this with every swing high and every swing low, and you're not gonna see it play out on every single one but on the majority you will. So here's an example where it didn't actually happen. So if you did this swing high to this swing low, price actually didn't even make it up to here. It came up to this fair value gap and then continued the move down from that point. But what if we just extended this to the next swing low, which is right down here. So price came down and then where did it come back up to? It came up to order block above 50% and then continued the move down from there guys and you could draw this up look at it um, you could do this over and over and over again and on the higher time frames like i said if you can start finding this with your trades look at you know the one hour look at the four hour look at the daily and then draw it up and look are you in a premium or a discount and then you can form a bias or a better bias for your trading day based off of that information and then as you are you know looking for trade entries on the smaller time frames and let's just go ahead and do this quick so if you were looking for trade entries on the smaller time frames, right? Let's drop down to maybe like the three minute and uh, and see if we can't find something here that makes sense. And I think we'll find something here. Um, I don't want to keep using the same example because we've literally <laughs> we've literally used that example. Gosh, I think like five different times. But let's just go ahead and do this. So let's look what we have here on the three minute time frame now. S and P five hundred. Okay. Here we have a swing low, right? Draw this up to our swing high, which is right here. What happens? Price comes up, starts working back down. And I want you guys to notice something here. One, again, where are we at here with our time and price? We are right in a PM session macro, okay? We come back to equilibrium. We sweep this low, we sweep this low. We fill this fair value gap. And if you draw and extend this across, we have also a breaker right here. So you'll, you'll start to see these things all come together. But then what happens? Fair value gap. Well, here we'll draw this up. And this is finding other confluences for the trade. Even if you didn't enter right off of this, you guys can see how this plays out and big money stepped in boom right there at all these areas of confluence is it a coincidence i think not and then it bought up so you know again guys this would be how you can factor in your thought process for the entries that you're watching right because some people that would have been looking to take a trade off of 
you know, this fair value gap or this order block, you know, it didn't uh, it didn't work out too well for them because they got liquidated and then price went in their favor. And all because they were trying to buy when price was still in a premium versus buying when price was, you know, in a discount. So that is how you will use PD arrays. A PD array is basically using premium and discounted price action in confluence again with all the other things that I've already went over with you guys. And that's all it's meant to be used for. Again, it's just another confluence. You don't wanna just simply take trades off of the equilibrium or simply take trades one way or another just because you're in premium or discount. You still wanna get other confirmations confirming that um, your trade is ready to move in your intended direction. But hopefully this was helpful for you guys because I know it was a game changer for me when I started incorporating this uh, into everything else that I was already looking for. So hope it helps. I'll see you guys in the next one.